All right, raise your hand if you've driven through a pothole. Yes, the busted tires, <laughs> the damage to your car, it is just so frustrating. Extremely yeah. so. annoying, right? <laughs> so the city of Port Arthur now turning to technology to try to deal with this issue. 12 News reporter Jordan James looked into what impact this will have on you when you're behind the wheel. Hurricane Harvey devastated the region back in 2017, and years later, the impact is still being felt as folks drive throughout the city of Port Arthur. It's an issue. It's, an, it's, it's a definite issue out here. Pothole after pothole is what makes Aries Miley frustrated on her daily commute to work. It's definitely a concern. It causes extreme damage to the cars, making you come off extra money and pay extra costs to your vehicles. This week, Port Arthur City Council approved the measure to enter into a contract with Infrastructure Management Service, who will use unique technology to analyze road conditions. This will help us a lot in maintaining the streets and in the future be able to like get uh, get um, you know federal dollars. They're spending nearly a hundred thousand dollars for the company to send laser vans like this to dry Port Arthur streets. The vans will use laser beams to essentially x-ray the city street. The idea is for the city to fix the roads in more dire need first. I understand everybody is very um, frustrated. Just give, give us some time. I, I know we are working as hard as we can to, to, to fix the streets. The company will travel roughly 30 miles a day inspecting roads. Port Arthur Public Works Director Alberto Elfano says the project is a part of a $2.2 million plan to repair roads. If another Harvey were, were to come and hit Port Arthur, then we'll, we'll have that maintenance records so we can actually tell them, okay, we, we did this work for this street. Crews are expected to arrive by the end of the year to start collecting data on a different roads. Reporting here in Port Arthur, Jordan James, 12 News.